Next, I'm going to focus on the Rico Theta SC2. For the purpose of the streaming, it's identical to the SC2 for business. I had some limitations, but it's a lot of fun to use it. The primary limitation is that it cannot stream over the USB cable. It also can't use plugins and it can't access the internet in client mode. So you can only access it direct to a computer. But we can work around these limitations. Let's get going with it. It'll be a lot of fun. I'm going to test out the SC2 with this Amelia Viewer project that was actually written by Jake Kennan. The URL for the project is right here. And credit Jake Kennan from the Rochester Institute of Technology. So there's a whole team there that worked on this project. The full project is the Lockheed Martin Amelia drone project. Uh, just to give the guy credit uh, and the team, there's a link here. And you can see what they did with the drone. It's using Motion JPEG. Uh, it does work with the SC2. Um, they're using radio retransmitters to get up to a quarter miles away. We're just going to use the Wi Fi of the SC2. Although you can retransmit it, and that is one of the ways to get around some of the limitations of the SC2. But the first step is just to get it viewable on a local computer. Let's do that right now. I'll put the link in the description of this video, but uh, GitHub has these releases. And so I put the I compiled the binary from the app, and then I put it up here. So you can grab it from here, and then grab this one, download it, and install it. On Windows, you'll get this zipped file. So just extract all. Once the file has finished extracting, go into it and find the executable. When you unzip the package, there's only a one file that has this type of icon here. So let's double click that and launch the application. It's going to give you a warning that the publisher of the application is unknown. Um, we're going to run it anyway. And it's going to launch like this. Next, I'm going to connect my computer over to the SC2 right here. So just follow the directions on this little app here. And it says to open up uh, a stream by going to Firefox and then going to this particular URL. So you just type it in right here, 127.0.0.1 colon 8181. And there's a menu here. Since the Rico a Theta, the SC2 is connected in access point mode, you don't need the username and password. It's just for a client mode. And we'll see the, the stream right here. On the left hand side is my webcam, it's a Logitech 920. I have it pointed at the Rico Theta SC2. This is the view from the SC2 uh, with this particular application. And you can see my webcam right here. I'm going to put my hand between the SC2 and the webcam so we can see both of the views and see what's happening with potential frame drops and also the latency. So using this type of technique, I did mount the SC2 on a robot. This is the view of the SC2 mounted on a robot. And it is pretty usable to take the robot around. Uh, you can't steer with the robot. You can only use the uh, SC2 because of the latency and some of the frame drops to see what's going on. But it's actually fairly good to see what's going on um, when it's on top of the robot. So you can put it through a tunnel or use it for inspection. And then with the Amelia viewer, you can also uh, 
enable a local recording to save it to file. Stream still going. There's a, another example here of uh, mounting a theta on a robot for similar types of inspection. This one obviously is a better robot than mine. I do have almost a very similar case for this. <clears throat> the thing I wanted to point out is you can hook it up to a Raspberry Pi with Wi-Fi and then run it on some type of retransmitter service on the Raspberry Pi to push this thing out to web browsers. So although the SE2 Wi-Fi chips, I don't really have that great experience with it because um, I think it's fairly slow sometimes. I mean, it's not really designed for streaming, so fair enough. But if you have it right next to the Raspberry Pi, you could probably retransmit it. I have the SE2 mount in this type of clear case for protection from water or rain, and I'm trying to simulate a a tunnel or you know some type of uh, drainage tunnel or something where you could uh, drive a, a drone through and then uh, see if there were cracks in the pipes or um, like what the surface is. So fun. You know, it's not the best resolution. There's some latency problems as well too, but uh, it can kind of give you an experience which you otherwise might not have or you could put it down a tunnel and inspect the inside of the tunnel where, you know, maybe it's too small or too dirty for a human to go through. So I think it could be a lot of fun. Doing some other tests with the SC2 in the future, uh, other types of motion JPEG. So you can have a lot of fun with the SC2 uh, and see what, what's possible to do it. Subscribe to the channel as we'll be giving you updates soon. If you like this type of video or if you have an SC2, leave a comment or give the video a like. See you soon.